Hi class, I wanted to give you your video feedback. Uh, make sure that you go through your checklist before you resubmit these. Um, specifically, make sure there is no template left whatsoever on your site. Make sure there are no placeholder images or text. And um, make sure that all of your content is entered and therefore searchable. So no images of PDFs, uh, no pictures of words, anything like that, that will definitely bring your score down. If you make a 100 on this, understand that it's your soft launch, and so you may have met the benchmarks this week. But if the feedback is not implemented, if you make a 90 or 100, but you don't implement the feedback, then you could make as low as a 50 on the final, all right? Because I expect to see the feedback and the corrections made um, because, you know, you've had three weeks to do it. Um, and usually this can be a very nice completed piece for you. Uh, this weekend you're going to be working on your portfolio and uh, it is just a draft but I don't I still don't want to see template all right um, you are working on your uh, professional site so you ideally want at least three uh, professional works that uh, describe a service that you think you could offer if you don't have that yet go ahead and put you know you can put your schoolwork and things like that but make sure everything is aligned everything is simple uh, very little scrolling clicking uh, no pages that aren't necessary and um, only your best quality all right and high quality resolution but not so big that it takes forever to load so things have to be optimized um, in that way all right i'm going to uh, jump through this i have actually looked at these i try to go through as a first time user i've already recorded this and there was a problem with it so i'm redoing it um, so i have seen these but i'm sure i will have a better chance going through it again. Make sure all of these, we're just going to jump right in, are not going to Squarespace. They need to go to the Real Deal Taco social media that's provided. There should probably be a link to menus. This isn't a link. Uh, feels like it might be, but it isn't. Let's make sure that we only have one line of content and not something down by itself. Um, and you'll see that throughout. Do watch all of these, everybody, because it's really going to help you. Uh, this, you know, um, helpful, but, and this is all good, a little longer, a little more scrolling than we need, um, but so far it's okay. The logo's there. I'm, I'm a little concerned because I don't see the menu. These are all placeholders, beautiful, but they're also restaurants. And this is a food truck. So everybody get rid of anything that has glass uh, in it. And remember, it's a food truck. Think about your client, Real Deal Taco. You know, you have to, uh, at the bare minimum, represent them. So this is a lot of template. Okay, Caitlin, so... Um, This has to all be replaced with content. All right, really important. All right, uh, this has a lot of the content in it. I just think this image needs to be, um, I think this needs to be replaced. This isn't urgent and we've kind of allowed it to be in this space right here, but we have all this space. So let's do something there. Um, just the image that looks nice would be fine and put this someplace else. These, we definitely uh, only need to have the icons, maybe up here, okay? Let's make sure this isn't being clipped. Leave space for that. So this can all come off, right? Because we don't need that much room to click. Uh, good, Anthony. Let's see. So we do have the menu, and it's not exactly searchable. So make sure that it's not a photo or a file or anything like that. Um, it needs to be searchable. And so I'm not sure that it is here in this respect, okay? Uh, but otherwise the images look good. Uh, this is good. It's, it's also looks like it might be uploaded, which means it has to be entered. Uh, this is still good, still needs that padding around it. 
and uh, make these the same size, but these are out of focus. So I think what I would do is make this and this smaller and maybe a line here or something, but um, or just smaller because they do need to align and, and look nice, but they're just uh, pictures of words. They're, they're not focused. They're not clear enough, the image, all right? But otherwise, it's looking really good, and this is working. It's not too much content. You're consistent with your headers. You know, that's awesome. Uh, this needs to be cut down and make sure it's not all bold. All right. So um, it really only need it, it doesn't even have to be cut down that much. I think probably if it's not bold, you might even lose a line or two, but um, it's fine. Actually, it's not too bad, uh, but because there's not a lot of scrolling, but do uh, make it regular instead of bold, please. Okay, pretty good, pretty good start there. Um, here, you know, I'm always torn between this metal uh, server because I'm not sure if somebody would actually use that or not in a food truck. This could be plastic, but this is definitely uh, feels like glass. So we do have to be careful of that. But the image always looks good. Uh, we need space here. This looks like it might be green. Um, so I'm not sure if that's an added color. If this is black, but leave space there. Um, probably make this a little easier to see. We've got this is the important part, and but we've got all this space for it. All right, so we need to. We don't need all that space. Um, and uh, check your spelling. Okay. And these can go to the Real Deal Talk the site that's created. You'll find those uh, when you do a search. But this is great. This is all added text, right? So that's nice. This is a little too much scrolling for this is just update this. This is just too much space for something that can be uh, in just a, an inch. You know, all of this could basically be in far less um space so it's you know when make sure you find out what is the most important this space is not important okay uh, a subscription that can be down here um your you know this can come down here uh you know that we already have somewhere but even so these could be a little bigger if you're going to have these in in your footer then just make your contact page link to that and maybe you already do have it do that it scrolls through all of that um, if you're gonna have a contact page just anchor it there but well it is but we just have a lot of empty space we've got to get rid of this has to be cut down all right to probably um, I would make it a little wider so you could cut it down you have to go through and find out what's not important but to three or four paragraphs um, and it shouldn't be cut in like that. This, too much space. This is easy to read, so that's okay, but this isn't necessary. It's It really doesn't apply to our client that much. I understand why it's there, but it's not needed. So what would be more useful, even here, what or here, even though these are important cont uh, items, uh, information, it could go on the menu, and that's all. We don't need all of this, okay? Um, and I'm sorry if you spent a lot of time with that, but but that is our goal is to, you know, limit uh, the scrolling and clicking. This isn't really necessary. What is necessary is the menu, location, about, contact. Those are the really important things. So if I want the locations, I've got to search for it. So let's instead of calendar, put locations, all right? Okay, fix that. All right, so make sure you look at everybody else's feedback and you'll get uh, real good ideas. I haven't seen this like this before. Um, one of the things I am concerned about is how this menu, I would freeze it, I would move it over to here and make sure that it's not black. It's very hard to see when we're on it, right? So that should be, you know, either the green or white or something. 
But otherwise, this looks really good. Um, make sure it doesn't, on yours it's going to load quickly because you already have it loaded, but make sure it doesn't take a, too long to load. That's the problem. It would have to be optimized. This doesn't go to your menu, right? So that's an issue, but this looks great. Uh, this looks great. And these are connected. Perfect. And great. Um, let's see. You're sticking with the colors. You could left align that. Doesn't bother me because it's not the most important thing to fix. Um, but so far it's looking really good. I hope you had fun with it. Uh, these, I think they look great the way you've done them. Um, some of the images aren't really in focus enough and probably takes a long time to load. As, as I recall, these have to be optimized. You, you don't even need more than this, these two rows, you know, really. It's just taking a lot of time. And your menu took a long time to load the first time as well. I wasn't sure if there was content on those pages or if the, it was just really large files. So um, probably you could reduce the scrolling on this part, you know, make it a couple of columns. If not, it's like I said, it's not the biggest uh, deal breaker there. Not a fan of repeating tiles like this, so go ahead and put images there. Otherwise, uh, you're, it's working well. Yeah, go ahead and put an image there, but nice work so far. Good, I hit locations, I've got the time and the place. And what about the rest of the week? Okay, we're going to need that. Okay. And this is hard to read, so you're going to need to work on your contrast and texture. Remember that? Um, cut it down uh, to about two or three paragraphs. You know, cut a little more out. And make sure we can read it a little better. There are a number of ways to do it, but think about that. And I really, okay, so that's the about. Put your contact over here, all right? But it's looking good. That first page is pretty impressive, but move all of the, uh, your navigation over here and make sure we can see it when we're on the page. All right, so, uh, trying to remember check to see if this image is optimized if it's the smallest as you can get for the best resolution because it seems to me it came up fast too slow too period here uh, maybe left a line but certainly wrap it to where we don't have that word by itself the rest looks awesome take these off because they're not relevant or make them relevant uh, let's see black isn't really the color but you know it's not the it would be a big problem for the client, perhaps. Uh, but right now, you want to probably make sure everything else is going well. But but really, that should be blue, right? Uh, you can use white, blue or white. This, when I first brought it up, it had a green overlay on it. And it was there for a very long time. Same with these. And I don't know if that's something that is in an animation or what have you. Just double check it. I still like this. I love how you've aligned everything. That's super important, and I want everybody to do that. Okay, uh, This has one word by itself. You could rewrite it and put two. Um, if you were working for a client, you would have to have the um, permission to make edits, but you can do that to fit. This looks awesome, but it's it's not searchable. It's a picture or something like it's a screenshot. So uh, add a column of text there, enter that, and align it with your images, and that should work great. I hope that's the only map on this site. And there, so I would take this off. I know you don't have access to the Instagram. I would just remove it or put some stills there that actually, you know, uh, apply to the company. Also, everybody check your spelling here, okay? Make sure it's R-E, 
E L, okay. Uh, throughout. Okay, uh, and you had your about on the front. All right, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to allow there not to be a tab there. All right, but really good start. Uh, beautiful image. I think this took a while to load. Make sure this is clear. Um, and these are linked up. Good job, Chloe. This definitely took a while to load, I remember. So they're gorgeous, and that's, you know, the reason. Um, I think, don't stretch it, but if you're able to have the image align here with these, I think it's going to be better rather than have this extend like that. Uh, of course, if you bring this into a line with that, they'd have to be very small, and this would have to re flow and it could go even longer but uh, that might be able to be in two columns if you can you don't need this okay you don't need it so take it off um, please yeah but this looks great you need a little space here and I think if this could go out to here make sure it's all centered a little space there um, but otherwise working check your space you guys from your header to your first item header to first item see they should be the same Right there, they change in here. So all those little things matter. It is a detailed game. Okay. Um, make sure you have all the locations and times here when we click on it, even if you have it someplace else. Make sure this is not uh, bold. Okay, this can be, but not this. That will work better. And so. Cut this down, left a line, cut it down, uh, go through, make sure it's like three, three paragraphs for here. This is okay. Nice. Uh, make sure you've got an, the same amount of space between your image and your name there. And does this link to that? Okay. Good. This, just put reviews and actually put your contact at the end, which is a web standards where people are used to finding it, because the contact is not a question. Uh, F and Q is going to be uh, things like, you know, tell me about your food, tell me the things where you're going to supply answers. But here we're not really, uh, it's not an FAQ because we're not supplying any answers. You already have a contact page. So you can shorten this. That'll be great. Just put reviews and have it there. Um, it's not a bad idea at some point to put the um, FAQ. I know it was probably on your sitemap example, but it, it didn't have to be there. All right. Um, probably don't need a login. All right. Okay. Great start. Okay. Um, probably don't need a login. These are going to the sites. Good job. Uh, this vibrates a little because of the um, saturation and is so similar. And so one of these could be a lighter red. It could go a little bigger. Um, watch your spacing around everything. Make it equal. Okay. And this probably needs just a little bit of a uh, drop shadow. Not much. Just a little and not too deep. Uh, so we can see this right? It's the contrast that we're looking for. This is a little hard to see, but we see it. And it does work, and that's good. Make sure this is centered. Okay, the word hour. This is looking great. You can cut this down to where it's one line, and you can add some comment here to make that all line up still. Make that line up. Okay, good, good. Uh, watch this. See this? This one, I think, should have a vertical menu, all right, because you have plenty of space on the side. It will never cover up anything on all of your pages because I checked. This, you might be able to get a little more space out of this, squeak it out, um, but this is looking good. Go through, check all your spacing. Use a spell check. Definitely make this a vertical. You can see got plenty of space here. Looks good. Good, good. Um, spacing uh, is okay. 
So um, hours of operation. Uh, okay, so this is your contact. Let's put locations here. And if you want to go ahead and put your contact info, if it's going to stay at the bottom, then that needs to link to the bottom and you'll need something for your contact, for your locations. Because right now you've got a confusion here. When someone hits the contact, they want to see the contact right away. When I hit it, I hear, I see locations. And I do want to be able to find locations. So I put locations in your menu and uh, just put basic contact here. And you can, you don't have to put it here, but you could put it, you know, smaller somewhere down here. And like I said, not so deep. Um, and that would give you a good excuse to have a whole contact information. But I do like the white, the black on white and the blue. So, you know, just put your contact form there or something. Nobody wants to scroll to look for it. All right. But good job. Um, I'm not even sure you have to say our, you know, I don't know that you need that. Great start. Uh, let's remove that background. Parallax scrolling doesn't always work. Um, good job here. And this is really the important part on this. Well, sort of important. It doesn't tell us you know, when they're going to be there. But this could probably be one or two lines. And you're going to need the logo for sure. If you put it up here, you'll have more space. But you definitely need it and not behind it. Okay, so take that off behind it. And let's make sure that this is centered. You know, maybe it's my screen, but this doesn't feel centered. Something is not centered. Okay. Um, it's either the images, the columns, something like that. Um, okay. Uh, reflow this. You can cut it down. And otherwise, you know, like you have here, this works well. This seems like larger text. I'm not sure. Um, okay. And try not to have one word, but otherwise this is good how it lines up. You want to keep that going. Left align all of this, provide a little bit of space before your next item, and remove the bullets. All right. You can put some padding in there, margin or padding in there. Um, and that will look better for you too. Uh, you're going to line those up. All right, so just keep tweaking. You guys allow several hours. You know, it'll be fun if you provide the time. If, otherwise, it's going to be very stressful. Cut this down to a few um, paragraphs and just put one image rather than have them break like that. I mean, it's sort of interesting, but it really is taking away from what uh, we're saying they're going to find there, which is the story. So let's try to reduce all that scrolling, all right? You can just have one of these and bring this over and uh, a little more space for your story. Remove that on the back. Um, you're going to have it up here or somewhere fixed for every page, and that will be good. Okay. Uh, If this is your this is your contact, you're going to want to put contact. Um, your SEO searches through the navigation. That's one place where it will search. And if you're looking for contact, it's not going to look for keep it real. So make that contact, put it over to the right. And testimonials can go underneath something. You know, once you reflow this, you can put your testimonials underneath it if you like. And you know, link to that. Uh, just go through the editor, uh, check the question mark, and look up what is an anchor and anchor and a menu or, or um, navigation. And it will teach you how to do that if you don't already know. So I do want to know the location. I'm looking for that. Okay. The location has to be entered. Enter text, just like your menu. All right. Great start. Spend some time on it. This, let's take this out. It's very recognizable. It's really competing with the logo. Um, remove that. These need to be a little bigger. 
uh, some of the elements got lost off the page. You know, some of your um, different uh, elements of sides and things. I do like this. I thought that was interesting. Uh, but again, this isn't something that they link to. There's a lot of scrolling here. Take out all this space. I don't think there's an image there. It really took a long time. I was on it and it never showed up, so I don't think there is. But let's get down to the important stuff and then move on. Less clicking, less scrolling. So for example, you could bring this up here, dot, 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 for real. It'll bring it over to here, but that's fine. You're going to get this much space. Really important. Okay, uh, trim that down. This is great. Bring it over here to the left. Make this one line right underneath it. And let's see. Um, make sure all your headers are the same font and text. I don't believe this works. Okay, so you got to fix that. And this is all a picture that has to be entered. And we need navigation here. It is not showing up. I had to go back. Uh, this appears to be entered and it's fine. Uh, you do need some padding here around that and you want all of your images to be the same shape and size, exactly the same shape and size. Okay. I, I kind of want to see this aligned, you know, but it's, it's not the biggest thing. Make sure all your headers are the same style, color, weight, size, everything, okay, throughout. All your headers need to be the same. Uh, everyone should have, you know, maybe two. Again, navigation isn't here that I can tell. You don't need quite as much down there at the bottom of your footer. Uh, okay, and again, uh, navigation. Can't get out of this. Align this, otherwise this is a great page. Uh, this needs to be, I don't know, it's just that they're cut off and they're not quite, they kind of distract from this. Okay. And this is picture of words. Okay. Um, and these aren't really going to the real site, so they're not actual connections. So you want to fix your contact page. How about just uh, want to find us and talk to us instead of know how you can, okay? Cut that down. Uh, that'll give you some more space. It'll look better. All right, everybody, I want to make sure that you are reducing unnecessary images, text. You know, it's good to have images. You do need some for sure. Obviously, it's food. But um, just watch your scrolling. Make sure the important content is there as soon as they click on a tab. Make sure every page has navigation. Uh, this one is a template, and so there's a lot to be updated here, uh, R-E-E-L, and uh, they don't have a restaurant, they're a food truck, all right? So all the things that have been brought up before, this content, all the content needs to be added, all right? So this is just the template. That, that, won't, that won't work, okay? Resubmit right away. Uh, okay, Shantae. This is a lot of the template still. It is a, a food truck. Okay, change all your red to blue and um, get rid of these things. They have little taco shapes in places you could get. Take these out. They're not, they don't say anything about a food truck. Okay, uh, no food truck. Uh, that's glassware. This template always cuts off right here. So that's always a problem. Um, let's make sure you have hierarchy in your headers. That is, make them either all caps, make them a larger font, bolded something, all right? Otherwise, it's all good. Okay. Uh, it's a little bit of scrolling, but you know. Um, okay, 
probably bring that up a little bit and probably make this blue. Okay. Right, not meaningful. Look these up to the right. Um, this isn't the About Us that comes with the folder with the assignment that's on the Google Drive. Okay. Okay, I'm going to let you keep this because you've already done it. Um, but ordinarily, uh, it's not necessary and it might take up a lot of headspace here that you need. Uh, this is the important part. So let's say locations somewhere like instead of this if you could link it to here and say locations um, uh, stay in touch that might be you know uh, there, there are no reservations so take that off you could have this be just these two things but you don't need these you need the the icons here um, those could be under your contact and that would be fine and this should be on your location page instead of having an order page you need that okay and the about us this is otherwise it's all fine but this needs as far as your what you have here except for that replace it and then add that content you got some time uh, that needs to be spent on this it's mostly uh, just some you know once you change to blue if you do that right away it's all going to start to feel more like it and you get rid of some of these things uh, it'll it'll go quicker for you all right all right so that works that's good everybody check all of your links yeah see I would just rather this say location menu and location I would love that all right great start okay uh, real deal tacos okay good uh, Okay, we don't need the bullets there. We do link up. That's good. That's good. Um, a little tight there. Uh, okay, this needs to be added text. It's a picture of words, which is also why it loaded slowly. needs to be entered okay let's get into the period there get it down to three paragraphs let's we really don't need it to say about us and story one or the other and since it's about us I would rather see about us this you have up here I'd like to see it a little larger um, and then you can move this story up okay um, then you may want you know you may decide to put an image of them or something over here or something. Um, but bring it up, all right? Bring all that up. Then we're going to need contacts. Uh, we need, let's see. Yeah, this uh, needs to be, this menu needs to be deleted. You have your menu here. If I go here, it should take me home. Okay, and you need your locations. So you need your, you've got your about, you need to enter menu, you need to enter your locations, you need to enter. All right? All right, keep going. All right, everybody, I want you to spend some time on this. This weekend you're going to be spending time on your um, professional site for your own work. Uh, choose at least three of your best works. And remember all the things that we've talked about this week. Um, and then you're going to have, uh, next week, you're going to make all these uh, fixes. If not, uh, it's going to be very hard to pass on this particular assignment, and it's a very important one. It could affect your how you do in the whole class. So uh, make sure you do that, and um, contact me if you have any questions. Leave several hours to work on your sites, all right? It will be fun. I hate thinking of you stressing and trying to pull something out at the last minute because you can't, not in this class. All right? All right. Good luck, everybody.